Hello, it's Chrissy the Scottish Magpie here. I have a few thrifted items and a jewellery bag that I managed to get for $4.99. So the two thrifted items that I've got were these. They were a pound and they're sterling silver and they're marked there. I don't know if you can see just there. And their backs are marked as well. So they're lovely. Good for a pound. Lovely. And then for three ninety nine, I got this. It's sterling silver again. And where is it marked? I can't. Remember, it does have a mark on it, though. I found the mark. Oh, yeah. It's actually right there on the... As you pull that back, you see. So it's marked there. And then each individual spacer is sterling. A really dark amethyst with a lovely natural freshwater pearl. It's the dark, dark amethyst. It's absolutely stunning. So I got this one for three ninety nine, and then a pound. So I was super happy with those. So put these up there. Put them there. So we'll get started on our jewelry bag. So. My husband popped into the charity shop and just got me this and then we went to get some breakfast rolls and as he was getting the breakfast rolls I was having a nosy in this bag and I saw a pair of earrings that I think are interesting. These aren't the ones but these are Claire's. Um, originally £5.50 so they're nice for a bundle. That's quite fine. I'll pull some of this out. Okay, and then we have Shine. Made in China. Some plastic earrings, they're fine for a bundle as well. A nice little pendant. Keep calm and make cupcakes. I like that. I might give that to my sister. And a few earrings stuck in here. <clears throat> okay, we have Ale Hop. So I'm not entirely sure what they are all about but funky they could go for a bundle so earrings we'll try to put to the side to match up oh they're nice they're glass very nice I don't think they're marked. No. The, that bit's magnetic, but the hook is not magnetic. So I'll maybe test them later, but they're really nice. And then I think I got another pair there. These ones. And they're in okay condition. Just silver tone costume jewellery. They're glass as well though, so they're nice for a bundle. And these are some odd stuff. I'll put them here. Okay, this is one of the ones I saw in the bag. And I saw it had a mark at the bottom. 
I think I saw its pair, but I don't know if I was seeing the same one again. Um, I'll just check what the mark is. Nine two five D I A. Does that mean that's a diamond? That they're nine two five. The backs are nine two five. So I really hope I find the other one to that, and I wasn't just seeing the same one twice. Put that there. Okay. Well, this is really nice. These are all glass, glass beads. That's a lovely piece. It's a lovely green and black. I like that one, definitely. So we have another, there's a cloisonne. And just a stud. And it says costume jewelry. It's marked. Avon. Yeah. So it's just a stud. An Avon stud. Here's a pair. Oh, these are so nice. These are glass beads with wooden beads, and then another glass bead up there. But they're lovely. I really like those ones. Some lovely glass jewellery. Now I think, is this what's broken? Because there's so many of these little pieces. There's an earring back out there. Is it broken? Is there something else? I think there's something else that's broken. So these are just these chip shell beads. That's fine, it's nice enough for a bundle. As long as it's not the plastic fake ones. I'll put that in the bin. Okay. This is just a plastic necklace. It's on a rope. I'll probably just put that into craft. This is a nice earring. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. I think it's just um, a gold tone. It's not marked. Mm, can't see a mark. They are so lovely though. I hope the other one's in there. I'll put that up there. All these shells. Okay. Let's get rid of those. There we go. Okay. It's another earring. That's quite unusual. I like the bead at the bottom. And then. Just a shell bead, a uh, shell earring, sorry. Put that up there as well. Oh, these, oh, these are lovely. So one has a back, one doesn't. I saw a back. I wonder if that's the back. No, it doesn't fit. Okay. Those are tiny stones. And they are open at the back. And there is a mark up there. And I think there's a mark on the post, so I'll have a look at these. I think it says 925. 
Yeah, nine two five. Nine two five with tiny little stones. I wonder if they're diamonds. So we have one back. Yeah, the back says nine two five on that one. I need to just find another sterling back. I have do you know I'm gonna check check this one as well. I do have a diamond test though. It is really um, a very basic model, but it will tell me if it's diamond. I just need to uh, calibrate it to something else that's diamond that I know is diamond. So I calibrate it to my diamond ring, and once it um, registers that as diamond, I know it's at the right setting to test other things. At least enough to to be able to see well that is a diamond. I don't I wouldn't be able to tell you if it was man made diamond or a natural diamond. But I'm not even sure if some of the you know, better diamond testers are able to tell you if something's um man made or natural. <laughs> Here we go. So, just a silver tone chain necklace, and then this one has some pieces missing. So, I'm just going to put these two in a craft. So, here's some more stuff. We'll put them up there. I don't think any of these are. Here's the other Avon one. Another one. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like that. <laughs> You're nice earrings. Oh, the other one's in there. Let's get some more eggs. Let's get the rest of the bag out. Let's go. Empty bag. So, go to the box. It says. Embraceable hearts, genuine diamond, but I can't see any diamond on that. On that, but that's just metal. Where's the diamond? So they're not silver. It's a silver tone. There we go. That's nice. Let's have a look at you. So yeah, definitely just silver tone, but I cannot see where they are saying there is a genuine diamond. There is no diamond in there. Is there? I'm gonna check again. Am I? Nope. No, there's definitely no diamond in there. But that is a pretty piece. I will stick it in a bundle. I definitely like the little hearts. All the different colours. Oh, for goodness sake. Say to swear there. <laughs> right, I'll just... I'll put that at the side and fix that in a minute. Okay. This is nice. This is like a... Like an African bead. I think this is dyed bovine. Some silver tone, a nice big hip clasp. 
that's nice, very unique. I really actually like the colours of that, quite like burgundy, like that. Put that there. Next. That's a very worn. You can see the copper there, so let's put that in to craft and then probably the same for this one. Well, it's quite pretty. It's, it's twisted. That's quite nice. I don't think it's got anything missing. It's quite nice. I'll stick that in a bundle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, no, it's not. So it's like shell and it's got, it's almost threaded. Little glued on. A diamante. Red diamante. Another earring. Another earring. It's like a Christmas snowflake. That one. These are, these are nice. They're real pearls. It looks quite well made. I can't see a mark. Oh, sorry. That's the back. I don't think I can see a mark. They're not magnetic. Have a look at the other one. Um, let me just keep those back. Just have a quick look with my jewels. Where did we put it? Oh, there. Okay. I cannot see any mark on these. I'm going to have to just test them. I've not. I've only got nine carat gold, so uh, acid. So So yeah, if it's positive for anything above and beyond 9 carat, it's still, you know, it'll still be positive. It'll be positive for minimum 9 carat, but I just don't know. I don't know why they aren't marked. But they are gold. Hi there, sorry, my camera cut off. Yeah, they are gold. Wow. Oh, well, well, well. Just cannot see a mark. And this one seems to be a bit twisted. Oh, I see. I think these are old. So they're nice. 
minimum a nine carat. You definitely cannot see a mark. Oh no, hang on. I see a mark on the back of that one. But these are two different butterflies. So maybe one has been replaced. Nine carat, yes. So we have gold, nine carat gold with a genuine pearl. I'll straighten the hook out of the one that's a bit crooked. I think it's that one, but they're lovely, very nice, very nice. So we have silver, we have a one silver there. Then let me put these. Uh, backs back on. The thing is, I don't. I need to test if that back, the one that was unmarked, unless it's just dirty. Let me check it again. No, that back doesn't have a mark. Oh well, I'll still I'll put it on the back, and just maybe um if I can't find another nine carat gold back, I'll just disclose that one isn't marked and I'll test it, but I doubt it's gold anyway. So I'll put that one there. I'll put that on there. Let me get rid of this. <clears throat> That's brilliant. Gold. Um okay, what what's going on? So there's where are you stuck on that? Okay. So we have that other earring, but it's stuck on a bracelet. It's actually a really nice bracelet. It's not marked, but it's like silver tone rose gold colour with these like beads I think they move no they don't well, that's nice I'll detach that from there and then I'll definitely put that in a bundle it's really nice now, if I wasn't um so allergic to the fake metal. I can only wear gold and silver or beads or fabric. There's no name on this one but it's a nice... See I could maybe wear this for a few hours, this one, because it's not so close to my skin but it will eventually just bring me out in an itchy rash. Um, so but that's nice for a bundle. This is... Oh, this is nice. Have I got the other one? No. Oh, look. We have the other one, that one. That's nice. Perfect. So we have two pairs of silver with, poss with possible diamonds and a pair of gold with pearls. And this is just one ear hook. It's not marked, but it's a snake with some stones. I really like that. Are you meant to wear odd earrings when it comes to things like that? Is that what the kids are doing now? I don't know. So this is a freedom. It's 
very much a statement bib type piece. It's okay, silver tone's fine. This one, it's not marked, but it's quite nice. Silver tone. Just pull this to shorten it. It's lovely, actually. Really nice condition. That's fine. Oh, well, there's the other one of that. That's really cute. I really like these ones as well. They're really nice. I like some of the beads on this. I like these glass beads, but the... Sorry, my camera keeps cutting out. I'll quickly finish. I'm not keen on the, um, the wire, so I'll put that into craft. And then more earrings. This is the broken one. Let me get that one away. Okay. Next is another earring. Just a who you buy pure. But it's not bad. It's quite tight, but I think it's got life lifts in it. Another earring. Earring. This is a wooden necklace. It's quite tangled. Earring. Probably put that into craft anyway. And a seconda watch. I'll put that in the bundle. Turn you around. Okay, and then let's just pair up some of these. I don't think anything is overly special here. I like these ones, so I'm going to free the other one from the bracelet. Um, these are quite worn. Um, these are also quite worn, really. There was just the one cloisonne um, earring, so we put that to craft as well. I think there. Um, yeah, I think these are amethyst, just on a silver tone, but they're nice. Definitely real stone. The Christmas ones. Yeah, they're in okay condition. Then they were. Um, these are just plasticky ones. These ones are really worn. Our bow ones. Um, yeah, they're in okay condition. Just some studs. They're on a gunmetal. Unmarked. I think they're plastic, so I'll just put them over. And these ones are just uh, the Avon ones. Put these purple ones, Avon also. And then just a silver toned back. Just make sure all the backs say Avon, yep. So I'll put all those to craft as well. Well, that is. That's me. Well, this is going to craft. That's it. So, hang on a minute, I'll try and set up my um, diamond tester. It's a really old one. Really, really old. But it will do the job once I can get it uh, calibrated to my diamond ring. There's like the tiniest diamonds in here, but they are real. Hang on, that was the metal. Sorry. 
It's not going to work at all. No. I wonder if something's on it. Oh, for goodness sake, let's try anyway. Let's just try. Well, there we go. Look. So, um, me. Hold it. Okay. Touch. If you touch the metal, it goes bananas. And that tells you it's a diamond. I'm missing my light in here. That's why that doesn't go off anymore. So I'll turn it down again. We'll see if it climbs up again. Hang on, sorry. Okay, that's definitely a diamond in there. So, again, I don't know if they're man-made. Let's try these ones. So, yeah, these ones aren't moving. Try again. They're awful small. Is there a bigger one? Yeah, there. Yeah, that one's... That one's not moving, sorry. <laughs> it's so hard to do this through the camera. Okay, so that one's not moving. I'll do this one again. There we go. Ah, there we go. So they are diamonds. These are just probably CZs. They're so pretty though. Diamonds and gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Happy, happy, happy. I love this necklace as well. And these earrings. These are so cute. And then my thrifted. My thrifted silver. Not bad, not bad bunch of treasures. I'm happy with this. Four ninety nine for the bag of jewellery, three ninety nine for this necklace, a pound for these, and I have gold, silver and diamonds, and silver and CZs, and some lovely items for bundles. Happy days! So I'm going to do another video soon, uh, because I found an amazing charity shop which has always been there and I've never realised what it actually is. So I'm going to explain what I mean by that in my next video and show you what I found. Okay, I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.